I have been a fan of OSS, now Huxworks, for some time. In my personal collection, I have OSS models going back several generations. These older models come apart, allowing you to see what sets Huxworks apart from most other silencer manufacturers. Instead of having a baffle stack like normal silencers, direct from the muzzle brake, the gases are spun through a helix design toward the outside body of the suppressor and through these small coils and channels, very similar in fashion to the way a jet turbine engine works, but in reverse. All the while, these gases are cooling, expanding, and decelerating until they exit out of the front of the suppressor, which has many openings for the gases to escape. These gases are never trapped or contained in any way, yet through this revolutionary design, all the gases are allowed to cool, expand freely, and leave through the muzzle. A huge thanks goes out to Peace of Mind Guns for sponsoring today's video. Not only is Peace of Mind Guns carrying some of the coolest hard to find gear available today, they are going above and beyond to always put the client first and focus on building long-term relationships rather than transaction-based ones, something that has been sadly lacking in this industry. I ordered my 8.6 barrels from Peace of Mind Guns and even though Mason is in Salt Lake City, Utah and I'm in Alabama, he got me the barrels extremely quickly within a few days and he had them in stock when no one else did at the time. I'll be doing more business with peace of mind guns and you should check them out as well traditional baffle suppressors do a good job of suppressing the noise from a gunshot however they do have some drawbacks they cause blowback which can subject the shooter to toxic gases make the guns extremely dirty they can cause increased component wear on your firearms from the increased back pressure and they can cause some guns to malfunction due to the cyclic rate increase all of these drawbacks are virtually eliminated with the flow-through design of the Huxworks suppressor along with some more added benefits. How regular baffle suppressor works is a tube sectioned off with baffles creating chambers for the gas to cool and decelerate. That's all well and good, but in doing that, they also restrict a lot of the gases, heat, and fouling and send a good portion of those gases rearward towards the shooter. OSS and Huxworks have been perfecting the flow-through design for many years now and I'm excited about this latest iteration of the technology because it uses 3D printing. The OSS design has always been complicated and somewhat difficult to machine, but 3D printing simplifies the production and allows Huxworks to further capitalize on their flow-through concept. You can tell they are getting more out of the technology because inch for inch, the new Flow 556K is by far the quietest OSS or Huxworth can I have ever shot. Okay, so what do I mean by that? This is obviously a K or short can as the name indicates. However, it is impressively quiet for its size. Now that still doesn't mean this will be the quietest 556 silencer you've ever shot, but what it does mean is Huxworks is squeezing a tremendous amount of performance out of this very small package. The Huxworks Flow 556K is only 5.5 inches long, weighing in at only 12 ounces and having a diameter of 1.6 inches. Like I said, this is a very compact 556 silencer. It is 3D printed out of 17.4 stainless and is full auto rated. You can of course shoot 556 through it, 5.7, 17HMR, and 22 mag, but sadly when I asked the guys at Huxworks, they said the bore was a little too tight to do 6 arc or any other 6mm cartridges. But after all, this is a 556 silencer, so the applicable caliber list isn't expected to be very long. Huxworks does have a proprietary mounting system that is very smartly designed. If you have ever had a muzzle device that has become carbon locked or stuck in the back of your silencer, like the Q Cherry Bomb, it is because it unthreads the same direction as the silencer and you can actually remove the muzzle device still stuck inside your suppressor. With reverse threads, when you loosen the OSS suppressor, you're actually tightening the muzzle device. And since they are in opposite directions, there's virtually no chance of them getting stuck. There's even a little lock and unlock marking on the silencer in case you ever forget that it's not righty-tighty, it's lefty-tighty. For the newest generation of Huxworks muzzle devices, they have added wrench flats to the back of the muzzle devices, as well as wrench flats on the silencer itself, further making this silencer easily removable from your rifle or muzzle device. I really like seeing this, and if you've ever been in that unfortunate situation where you are just wishing you had some wrench flats, I'm sure you like seeing it too. 
to further ensure carbon lock is something you'll never have to worry about, the Huxworks muzzle devices have a really nice taper in front of the threads, which keeps the threads clean and doesn't allow any carbon to build up, which could cause carbon lock. Along with keeping dirt away from key areas, this taper will also help with alignment, allowing the Huxworks can to be more accurate and more repeatable. You'll also never have to worry about a Huxworks can walking off your gun. Because the Huxworks cans actually tighten themselves a little every time they are fired, keeping the can nice and snug on its mount. Let's talk about accuracy for a second. The Flow 556K will definitely not have any ill effects on accuracy. This was demonstrated when we took the Desert Tech MDRX Micron out to 525 yards with relative ease with only an 11 half inch barrel. On the right side, though. There you go, that was a good hit. So that was 525? Yep. The Flow 556K has no barrel length restrictions, and if you're lucky enough to own anything that is full auto and can still afford to feed it, the 556K is rated for that as well. Let's do a little demonstration to show the effectiveness of flow through design and how it benefits your firearms and you. I'm definitely not the first person to do this, but if you haven't seen this before, it's kind of cool. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take a pretty typical 16-inch direct impingement AR, load 10 rounds into the magazine, put on the flow suppressor, and shoot 5. We're going to take the one round out of the chamber and the remaining 4 out of the magazine and set them aside for now. We're going to attach a regular baffle suppressor, in this case the SIG SRD556, and do the same thing. Okay, here are the remaining rounds out of the magazines corresponding with each suppressor. If you look at the rounds that came out of the SRD556, they're cloudier and just seem to have a fine coating of dust all over the casing. The ones that came out of the Huxworks Flow are clean and almost look like brand new brass. Here's a close-up shot of the two rounds pulled out of the chamber, the Huxworks on the left and the baffle suppressor on the right. Again, you can just see that overall fine coating of dust, which is blowback from the suppressor. This demonstrates that the flow through design keeps dirt and debris out of your gun, allowing it to run cleaner and cooler. This makes it easier on your firearm, potentially increasing the service life of the rifle. This design also keeps a lot of the gas and fouling out of your face. As a shooter, if you've ever been gassed out by a suppressor, that's not something you'll ever have to worry about with the Huxworks silencer. While I'm definitely not a doctor, I'd also venture to say that breathing in all that stuff probably isn't good for you. So the Huxworks flow may increase your service life a little bit as well. Enough of me babbling on, time to hear it for yourself. Hopefully it came through in the test, but the Flow 556K does a very good job of suppressing 556. Now it is not the quietest 556 can ever made, but I also don't think that was the intention. It is an extremely effective 556 silencer, especially given its size. My own personal experience is on a 16 inch rifle or greater, it's good to go for me without any ears. When you drop below that, it's kind of borderline. But like I always say, it's always recommended you wear hearing protection when you shoot ARs because of the port pop or the sound that is escaping the ejection port. The Flow 556K features an integrated flash hider printed right into the design, and I went out right at dusk to see how the flash reduction on the silencer worked. In past designs, flow-through type silencers have had a bit more flash than some of their baffle counterparts. It would appear to me that the flash hider built into the Huxworks Flow 556K is doing a very good job. If you're looking for a dedicated 556 can, I think the Huxworks Flow 556K should definitely be something you consider. While it may not be as quiet as some of the other 556 silencers we've tested lately, it is still quieter than most anything on the market and shockingly quiet for its size. 
There are also a lot of other added benefits that you need to consider that the Flow 556K offers that some of those other silencers do not. Low back pressure obviously being the biggest one. Another benefit of the Huxworks design is it will always play nicely with whatever platform you put it on because of the low back pressure. It will work well with all varieties of piston operated guns without any issues whatsoever. That's where this really shines for me. I know that anything I have, whether it be a SCAR or an AK chambered in 5.56, literally any operating system will work fine with the flow through design. While a baffle can may cause issues in these platforms that have little or no gas adjustments. It is a really cool design and as much as I like the Flow 556K and Huxworks implementing the 3D printing, I'm even more excited to see this new tech be implemented in their 30 caliber silencers. Should be a lot of exciting new things coming from Huxworks in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you goes out to Peace of Mind Guns for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you want to deal with a company that not only cares about how good your gear is, but also your experience in getting that gear, check out Peace of Mind. Also, a huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing all of the 5.56 that we shot in this video and it was a good bit. Be sure to go check them out and in addition to 9mm 5.56 300 blackout and everything else Callaway loads, they are now loading 8.6 blackout so be sure to go check them out. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because we have some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There is also Alabama Arsenal gear in the link right below the video. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.